say Shy City Shy City Shy City I'm coming home again What's up everybody, it's your man Crispy Nips Today, topic of the week, uh, we're talking about technology in general And today we went, my family, my two sons and Beyonce and I went to the park That's Drayton uh, We went to the park and that's Benton <clears throat> It was finally time that we could actually get out and do something Because of the weather, you know, two heavy snowstorms this winter And really chilly air kept us from, you know, really leaving Except for the store and stuff. But yeah, we took to the park. It was 65 degrees. It felt amazing, actually. The sun was out. But yeah, let's talk about some, you know, technology, I guess. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't know anything about technology, obviously. But nowadays, you got cell phones, you know. Back when I was little, we still had the home phone. Uh, and then you had this brick. My mom and dad got their first cell phone. It was a blue brick. And... You know, it was just pixelated. It wasn't anything technology-wise advanced, but it was, you know, it was what it was used for is phone calling. But now you got these smartphones and everything else, so those are gone. The eyes of the fine, those are rare. But yeah, and then music. I had an MP3 player uh, here recently. But I've, and I've had an iPod before, but when I was little, I just, you know, had the CD with the headset, and, you know, this is just over the past couple of years, this sh stuff has been happening, you know, it's just been an advancement in technology, it's just really crazy how quickly we could, you know, learn new things and change it and everything, you know, the standard book isn't there no more, you can go to the library, you know, and they can give you Kindle books, and, you know, you rent them and then you give them back, you know, schools are using Kindles and iPads and stuff like that, tablets, but it's just really crazy how much we've advanced throughout the ages, you know, just in my lifetime, I can't well imagine these older people viewing on this technology, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, GPS, I mean, you don't need them, those atlases no more. You got the GPS, you can get there exactly by just typing in the address and where you're at right then, and it will have a map right there and step by step take you to where you want to go. <clears throat> it's just, it's nuts. I remember when I first had Wi Fi, uh, I have Wi Fi here, that's my first actually time I actually having my own Wi Fi, but I remember when I was little. We had the broadband, you know, dial-up, where you had to put the cord to the phone jack, the phone to the internet, the internet to the computer, and it just, it was slow, slow as hell compared to what we got now. I mean, I can get on Xbox Live right here, start it up, and I'm already on. I don't have to wait to load it up. It's already in this room. I can sit there and have stuff connect to it, and not just one thing, but several things. It's just... Technology in general has went up, you know, it's crazy. It's just changed so much since, you know, I'm only 20, and 20 years, technology has went from the luxuries of having to not do anything, have, you know, you got everything in your hands. There's nothing that you can't do. Smart TVs, just everything. <clears throat> but yeah, this, just the stuff we have nowadays, different you know, I almost don't like the stuff we have because I remember my brother and I going outside every day, playing basketball, football, and then they came out with this technology. Believe me, I, I'm on Xbox pretty much every day. You know, I don't get to play basketball anymore. But, yeah, this is the topic of the week. And it's been your boy, Chris Mips. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out the new YouTube. They've changed it a bit. I'll have a video on that coming up soon. And, you know, guys, go outdoors. Fuck technology. Go outdoors. This has been Chris Mips. Peace.